Hi everyone and welcome back to EdTech Classroom. Today we will be discussing privacy tips and security settings on Zoom. This has certainly been the big topic for remote learning lately, so I thought it would be helpful to share with teachers how we can make our accounts as secure and private as possible. On today's agenda we have updating the private chat settings, updating screen sharing settings, and enabling the waiting room chat features. First, we are going to be updating our private chat settings on Zoom. I logged into Zoom using my preferred internet browser. Then I clicked on settings here on the left hand side. Now I will click on in meeting basic. Then you'll see this chat settings button right here. I strongly recommend disabling chat settings on Zoom. By unchecking this button and pressing turn off, I will ensure that meeting participants cannot send chats to everyone in the class. That means that if someone were to intrude on our meeting, they would not be able to send chats to the whole class. By pressing turn off, I have also ensured that participants cannot privately message each other during meetings. This also means that my students cannot privately message each other, which I think is actually a good way to ensure that they are all ears while I'm talking. Screen sharing. Next, we are going to be adjusting our screen sharing settings. Just like I did last time, I'll click on this In Meeting Basic button. Then I'll scroll down until I see Screen Sharing. I am going to change my settings so that only the host, aka me, can share my screen with participants. This is really a great way to ensure that you are the only one who can share content with meeting participants. And this is a really crucial setting to protecting your students' privacy. So I'll click Host Only, then I'll click Save, and you'll see that this setting has been changed. I'm also going to disable annotation tools just in case. Um, I don't want my participants to be able to share whiteboards, so I'll also uncheck that. And I think that looks good. So now I've updated my screen sharing settings. Moving on to the next section. Waiting room. Lastly, if you have one takeaway from this video, it is this feature. It is absolutely critical that you enable the waiting room. This means that you are the only person who can admit people into your meeting. This waiting room essentially acts as a lock for your meeting. Participants cannot enter until you let them. To do this, I'll click on in meeting advanced. And then I'll scroll down until I see waiting room. Here it is. I will check this button right here. And now I've made my Zoom meeting very, very secure. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to like and subscribe. And thanks again. Bye everyone.